Hello there. Thank you for all the views of the last few days. Uh, they really mean a lot. So today is a uh, we talk about Elvis. My I'll show off my Elvis collection, and today we're going to go through uh, the selection of um, mono albums I have on both vinyl and CD. So the mono albums I have are kind of um, nearly all originals, not first pressings. They'd probably be something like second or third pressings, and I pick them up in the the charity shops. So I have about a dozen of them and uh on the lookout again i wish he had a mono box set like bob dylan has a mono box set of eight albums and um the beatles have a mono box set well let's go through them this is uh again the first greatest hits album ever made by any artist and it's uh elvis's golden records and it's in mono and there it is written up there mono and i think it cost me three quid i got it in cornhill so shout out to cornhill market there it is original label i think rta victor or it is a re the it's a red label with a black dot and very old so it is scratchy, it is a little bit beat up, but I'm quite happy with it. And it's nice to have something from the 1950s in your collection. So I have a second one of these, a different pressing, another red seal one. And where did I get, I got this in Glastonbury Town, I got it in uh, the vintage shop. So shout out to the vintage shop. So it's the RCA red label. So you don't see that too often. And uh, yeah, it's in mono up there. And that's a later pressing. That's in the, the 60s, I think. So put this in. Oh. Oh, open up. Please open up. Thank you very much. Now. And we have Elvis's back. I got that in West Key, West Key Record Shop in um, Bridgewater. So shout out there. And in Mono. I have it in Stereo as well. And I'll have to get it in the 180 grams. And there's a few versions of it in the 180 grams. That's it. That's all the info. The Beatles albums are done like that. Well, hold on. Some of their early ones. Yeah, this is the black label one. See there, I'm not going to take it out of this, it's a bit uh, flimsy to be putting it back in, but yeah, it's a black label mono. Let me put that in the background. We have Elvis Golden Records. Uh, yeah, I showed them in the previous in the Elvis Golden Records video, so thank you for all the views on that. I think it's about 288 views at the moment when I last looked at it. And this is in mono. That's the back. And it has... Oh, it's an orange pressing. So that would be a later pressing. That would be 60s, 70s. And there's many variants on a uh, golden records volume two but i like this cover the gold lame suit and i think that was printed in in the 60s with lo lots of songs from the 50s on it fool such an, as i my wish came true i got stung jailhouse rock and treat me nice and the cds has they have many variants and bonus tracks and all that sort of stuff this is an 80s pressing of a mono album, Bait with Elvis. 
do have a 108 rams version of this and it's fairly different that's the back all the money spider typos so <laughs> i get motion sickness and this is a green label so this is rca international so I'll probably do a video of which ones I have on the green label and which ones I have on the orange labels. And then I think they are large orange label versions and green, uh, small orange label uh, versions. This is GI Blues, an excellent soundtrack and film. And it's in mono. I have it on stereo. Yeah, it's black label. With the silver dot. And I'm kind of starting to recognize little clues on the cover. And you see those ones there up here. And you see that that that's uh it's an indicator that you have a black label with the silver uh silver dot. just like this one it's a little bit tacky so i won't take it out that's uh, something for everyone one of the meh albums uh, mainly the last two uh, the second and third track in it kind of take me out of the zone for that one and then that's something the black so it's a black label with a silver dot on it that's the back again a little bit tacky but it's uh, it's vintage so it's bound to be a little bit uh, patty, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. This is also a little bit, uh, where did I pick that one? I forget where I picked that one up. And I got the GI Blues in a uh, Westkey record shop. This one I got in Glastonbury in the, I think I got it in the comic store before it moved. A oh, good few years ago. Um, before I moved back to Glastonbury and this one up here red dot one so we'll take it out oh it's not it's black <laughs> okay oh yeah black and again it's a nice vintage copy it's an original pressing not a, a first pressing but an original pressing of a of a pressing Kind of a copy of a copy. I put it back in. It is a little bit scratchy, but again, it's an old album, so I don't mind if if you can play it and you have the crickle in it. It's fine. There's another one, another rather beat up one. And there's yeah, yeah, as the RCA with the red dot. Is it going to be black and silver? Let's find out. Oh now, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I was expecting in the other one, but it wasn't. So you see the red dot there, and there's the red dot. So the other one had a different version. Somebody swapped around the uh, versions, or it might have come like that. They put in a, a different uh, copy. So that's good to know. Was well, yeah, a little bit beat up? That's again. I forget where I got this. I got it recently, but where probably come to me when I uh, when I stop doing the video. So this one I got for a pound in town in the, one of the charity shops. So I was very very pleased to get this one for a pound. I did it. Put it on the Golden Records, and it's it's a black label with the red dot and the red dot has been marked out on it so then and it's a little bit a little bit patting uh, there but hey it's a pound so i'm not complaining too much and we have i just recently got this in cornhill this was three pound in mono and uh, I think it's just going to be a silver affair. 
No. It is a uh, red dot. Red dot. <laughs> yeah. So probably had Elvis's writing name in uh, in red. So not to be done out by the logo. So yeah. And then I found this one. And I forget where I got this one. In mono. I think I might have gotten it in uh, Wesky Records. Or was it? A, yeah, it was in mono as well. I was surprised to see this one in mono. And it's one of my favourites. And it's a green one. It's a green international label in mono. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. There are all the LPs I have in mono. So I'll be hunting uh, down the Elves and Mono albums for on vinyl for quite a while yet. They're kind of uh, they're kind of tricky to come come by. So I have to see these. I'll just get them. We have uh, for LP pans only in mono. I don't think there's a stereo version of this. That's what it looks like. And we have a date with Elvis on the that box set. The photo, yeah, the photo, the photocopy in this rubbish on rubbish on this. But this is a fine album, and the sound is very good. And then you see the numbers there. And fifty million Elvis fans can't be can't be wrong with the bonus tracks. And it's from the nineties, and that's what the CDs look like in the nineties. I got that on eBay. Got most of the CDs on eBay, and some in charity shops. Got this one in. Did I get this one in a charity shop? And um, I forget where I got this one. I think I got it in the charity shop. It's the second album, which I kind of almost prefer to the debut album. I think most of the songs were just recorded at the, the same time. So yeah, this is in mono. I have a reissue of it and it's, uh, this kind of opens up like this with all the money spider typos. <laughs> so I won't be looking at that then we have elvis golden records that's also in mono love depressing and the last cd and it's the christmas album and quite a good album as well i have it on 180 grams and it's uh this is in mono and sounds absolutely excellent so that's my mono collection so far again thank you for all the views and we will look forward to seeing you in the next video